Hello everybody, Mr. Red Builder here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Redstone Repeater. Let's get into it, shall we? Alright, so first up, you're going to need to grab yourself some repeaters. Now, I have the crafting recipe laid out right here, so you're going to need two redstone torches, one piece of redstone dust, and three pieces of stone. The redstone repeater, when placed on the top surface of a block, looks like this, and it cannot be placed on any other surface of a block. It is also found in the redstone tab of the creative inventory. Now, I'm going to show you how it amplifies signal strengths. Alright, so normally if you want to send a redstone pulse more than 15 blocks away, you couldn't. Introducing the redstone repeater. This boosts redstone signals back up to full strength of 15 and it'll provide some delays. We'll talk about those soon. So as you can see in this 31 block run, if I pull this lever, the redstone lamp lights up and pull it again, it turns off. Here, I have a little demonstration of how you can use the redstone repeater to make delays in a circuit. As you can see, when I click on it with the right click or place block function, the little torch moves along it. This is your indicator of the tick delay on it. So right here, I have a system that increases by one tick every block that you go over to produce this cool ripple effect. Repeaters can also be used to send a redstone signal through a solid, non-transparent block like this. Normally, if you wanted to send a redstone signal through a block with just redstone dust, you couldn't. All you have to do is place a redstone repeater right in front of the block facing into it, and boom, it functions. You can also use the delay function on redstone repeaters by hooking them up in a line like this so that each one is powering the next one. You can create some redstone clocks that work somewhat like this. Repeaters can also be used as locks in a circuit. As you can see, when I pull this lever, the repeater turns on, and then since I have another one pointed into it, with a delay one tick more than the delay on this one, this bar appears across it, and that means that it is locked. Now, if I l unpower it, I'm going to lock it over here, and if I power it, you can see that it is locked in the unpowered state. And if I unpower this one and lock it over here, it is now locked in the powered state. Thank you so much for watching, and please be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell while you're at it so that you can know as soon as I post a new video. I really appreciate you watching my videos. It means a lot to me. Bye!